Hey guys, um, today we're going to learn how to use some of the basic functions of Excel and how to insert data. Before I start, I just want to say um, that if you've used Excel before or you know the basic functions, then this video really isn't for you and you can move right on into uh, step one of how to make a budget. Also too, I am working with Excel 2013. Um, I know down to 2010 if uh, that most commands are are the same. They've kind of changed the look a little bit, but uh, but everything is generally in the same place. Anything below 2010, I'm not really sure of, but we're just kind of going through the basics. So everything should be um, that, or at least everything we're any of the topics we're talking about today should be the same. All right, so let's get started. Um, so up here at the top. It, where my cursor is circling. This is what they call the ribbon. Um, the ribbon is where all your commands are located allowing you to do different tasks and functions in Excel. Uh, the ribbon's broken up into multiple tabs. As you can see, we have our home tab, insert tab, page layout tab, formula tab, and so forth. Um, for our purposes, the only thing that we're gonna use is the home tab, and we're not even gonna use much in that. But uh, after this video, I highly recommend going through and kind of just checking out the different tabs or and um, just kind of familiarizing yourself with Excel and learning uh, some of the commands and where they're located. All right, so um, up here at the top, we have our file tab. And in our file tab, uh, if we click on it, we have our save and save as. Um, definitely going to need to know uh, to save your budget. Also, we have um, print where you can print your budget and uh, new where you can open up a new um, document or a new Excel spreadsheet if you want to create something else. It has a couple other commands that are useful too. So we're going to click on the arrow key to go back. This can bring us back to our home page. So let's check out um, the Excel spreadsheet itself. Uh, if, as you can see, Excel is broken up into columns that are labeled with letters and rows that are labeled with numbers. Um, where a column and row meet, that's called a cell. If you click on that cell, that cell becomes active. As you can see, there's a thick green border around that cell that allowing or letting you know that that cell is active. Um, also, up here at the top, it tells you which cell is active. As you can see, A2. Um, we can click on C3 and click down here, C7, and so forth. Um, now, I've been using my cursor to move around Excel, but you can also use your arrow keys, which I like to use. Um, I find it very quick and easy, kind of move around Excel pretty quickly. Um, you can also move around Excel with tab. Now, when you tab, as you can see, we're staying in the same row, but moving over into different columns. Um, so that's useful too, depending on what you're doing. But I like to use the arrow keys. All right. So let's uh, let's go up to A1 and let's insert some data. Um, so we doing a budget. So 2013 fall semester budget. Now we inserted our data, um, or sorry, we typed our data, but we haven't inserted it yet. So to insert your data, you hit enter, and that will insert it into that cell. Now you might not be able to tell, but uh, it looks like all this data is in A, B, and C, but really it's only in A. If we go up here at the top, um, this is our formula bar. And in our formula bar, you can see um, it tells you what is in that cell. Well, 2013 fall semester budget. But if we click on B1, there's nothing there. So what happens is cell A1 overflowed into B and C, but it's really not in there. It just looks like it. So this is a very easy fix. So what we're going to do is bring our um, cursor up in between the columns, and it could be any column for that matter. And when the arrow or when the cursor changes to as you can see right here where the arrows are going left and right, you're gonna double click. This is what they call auto fit. And what auto fit basically does is when you double click um, in between the rows, it is fitting the column to the data size. Um, so it's definitely a cool little trick and something you're gonna need to know uh, while going through and making a budget. 
All right, so let's uh, create a formula. So we're doing a budget, so let's do income. And we're going to do week one. And then I'm going to tab over for this one, week two. And then I can also use my arrow keys. Week three and week four. And let's also do a total. Whoops. Okay. So let's say for um, week one, we made for poor college kids $50. And then week two, 60. Now, I want to show you what I was going to do is uh, go week three, 70, and week four, 80. But uh, Excel can actually do this for you, and this is called autofill. Um, so what we're going to do is highlight uh, both 50 and 60. And as you can see, it's going up by 10, and Excel can tell this. So if you take your cursor and bring it down, see the little green um, square at the right-hand corner? You bring your cursor and wait, oh, bring it over to the top of the green square until it turns into a black cross. Then you click and drag that as far as you're wanting to go. It will actually fill it in for you. Pretty cool little trick. Um, you can do this, uh, you know, any way. It could be going down, across. Um, it's pretty cool. Basically, all you have to have is a minimum of two cells highlighted. And then, like I said, click on the square um, box in the right-hand corner. Um, you can also, I could have all four of these highlighted and then click on the square box and drag it over and it would keep going up by 10. All right, so now that we have our income um, for each week, let's click in the totals box and activate that cell. Now, to do a formula, you're always gonna, you're gonna hit equals. This lets Excel know that you're about to um, do some type of formula and you can do anything, you can, um, you know, minus, subtract, add, divide, anything you can think of, um, Excel can pretty much do it. Uh, so here we're gonna add up all four of these columns. So we're gonna click on column, we're gonna click on 50, then we're gonna say plus 60, plus 70, plus 80. Now like I said, we uh, typed in our data, now we're gonna insert it by hitting enter. And look at that, 200, and sixty dollars. Um, as you can see, Excel is a very powerful program. Um, this obviously is very easy, but when you're working with a lot larger numbers and a lot more numbers, um, this can become a very useful uh, program to use. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, if you've never gone through Excel before, um, like I said before. Highly recommend going through your uh, ribbon up here at the top and the different tabs and just kind of getting to know Excel, explore it a little bit and learn where stuff is. Um, thanks for watching.